Well, we've been hearing a lot about bison attacks this year, particularly at Yellowstone National Park. But Minnesota's neighbor to the west is also home to herds of the giant animal. Now, this afternoon, a woman is sharing her story about being attacked. Aliyah Burgraff, a reporter covering the Black Hills in South Dakota, brings us to her hospital room. Earlier this year, Amelia Dean from the UK was traveling the United States when she came face to face with death in the form of a bison at Custer State Park. Quite a way ahead of them, they saw a, a big male bison. Amelia and her friend considered turning back, but we're in the final stretch of a two hour hike. I was really dehydrated, it was really sunny. So instead of turning around, they kept distance between them and the buffalo and walked around it. Um, the bison just ran down the hill at her. It came right up and stopped in front of her. I could have put my hand out on his forehead without properly stretching it out, completely fine. That's when the bison attacked. And um, basically went through her thigh with the horn, um, came out the other end, tossed her in the air. We yeah. the, were told about 10 to 15 10 feet. 10 to 15 right? feet. I remember feeling the pressure on my hip, my hip being just pushed back. And I remember the sensation of flying in the air and going head over heels. Her friend finally led the bison away and called 911. The damage from the bison's horn was extensive, severing her femoral artery. And we're told that people usually you know, bleed out between two and eight minutes and die, and she didn't. So it's empirical. I, I even lived till when the ambulance got there. But once at the hospital, Amelia learned the extent of her injuries. Two of her nerves were damaged in the attack. She's got paralysis from the knee down in her leg and obviously a drop foot. I can't walk without a walker or crutches. I can't walk very far, about 20 meters, and then I'm kind of done for a long time. A tough realization for an active 19-year-old woman. When you guys got the phone call about that, as parents, how did? What was your reaction? Well, disbelief. One of her passions is dancing. Yeah, she loved. I mean, her thing is to dance. They worked with the hospital to transfer Amelia to the Mayo Clinic to undergo treatment with Dr. Robert Spinner, a surgeon that specializes in peripheral nerve damage. Of course, you want someone who's when it's your child who's going to do the best job. Finally, their prayers were answered. Media said, I've never seen Daddy cry like that before because he was so relieved. But two hours later, another blow. A caseworker came in and said, I've got some really bad news for you. They've withdrawn the offer and they're not going to send you. It was just so sad. Despite continued setbacks and issues with insurance, the deans haven't lost hope. I believe that God's got a plan and a purpose for her because it wasn't her time to die. What do you want people to take away from Amelia's story when they hear what happened to her? The care and compassion of the people of South Dakota. Yeah, oh my gosh, the city, city should be so proud of itself. That was Aaliyah Burgraff reporting. Experts are asking visitors who are admiring bison to keep a distance of at least 25 yards. They say bison are unpredictable and they're quite fast, about three times faster than humans.